Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again, and this is going to be an intro for a new project that I am doing in collaboration with the Geeks and Beauties. The creator of this one was Steph. Um, I will leave her, of course, link down below, and anybody else who decides to get in on this one. Um, I'm doing this a lot to support Steph, and um, a lot of the things that I've picked are either gimmies or things that I, I know I could use over sort of like a year or so. Um, so the idea behind this was to pick uh, television shows that we enjoyed watching um, and then um, pick 10 items to go with each of those. So basically what um, we both did is we wrote down um, up to 50 of our favorite TV shows and then used a random generator to pick Ten of them out, and then pick products that go with that. Um, so I wrote down my list, and then I used a number generator to um, select them. Um, and for a couple of them, like um, Star Trek and Doctor Who, I actually uh, wrote down each series that I liked um, as individual ones, rather than like just Doctor Who as the television show. I have down from um, 9 through 13 and then the original Doctor Who um, on my list. I may well, if I use something up, I may well um, pick another number and roll stuff in. I think this is a year long project so there's a good chance that that's actually going to happen, especially with one or two of these items. Um, and I was a little um, reachy with quite a few of them because um, they were just products that I wanted to pick and I try to make them fit with the shows that I ended up getting. So yeah, so I will just get into the 10 things that I am going to attempt to use up. Um, I, I can't remember entirely whether it's supposed to be year long or just to the end of this year, but anyway. Um, I'm sure all that information will be down in the description box. So, the 10 shows that I ended up with um, are Golden Girls, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, The 13th Doctor, Stargate, QI, Forged in Fire, The Simpsons, Gogglebox, Babylon 5, and Doctor Who, uh, 12th Doctor. Uh, yeah. So, the thing is, I don't watch a lot of television these days. Um, like Forged in Fire is like a fairly, it's like a recent program, um, but it's one that my hubby and I watch together sometimes. Um, and Gogglebox, we tend to watch together. I um, would particularly like the UK version of Gogglebox, it's hilarious. Um, yeah. um, so some of these the ones that I have on my list are like really old shows, and some of them are like more recent. Um, I noticed looking through them that probably 70% of them are s like sci-fi type stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll go through the products, maybe talk a little bit about the show and why I picked the products. So for Golden Girls, I picked this lipstick, which is, well it's not really lipstick, it's a lip gloss from Chi Chi. It's just a little one. Um, it has gold sparkles on it, which is why I picked it. It's got golden sparkles on it. Um, and, you know, makes your lips all shiny and glossy and... I could really see Blanche picking something like that. Um, I watched Golden Girls a lot when I was a teenager. <laughs> uh, it's a good fun show. Um, B. Arthur is like amazing. Um, yeah, so that is the first one. For Deep Space Nine, I picked this um, body cream, which is a massive body cream to get through. Um, I'll probably put it in my bedroom because I've nearly finished the one that I've got in there. Now the scent on this is Orchid, Amber and Incense. And it's it's a really nice kind of scent. I didn't think I'd like it that much, but it's really nice. And I kind of feel like Bajorans would smell like this with all of the kind of like ritualistic stuff that they kind of do. It, it seems like something the drawings would smell like. Um, so I could imagine that there would be areas of Deep Space Nine that would smell like this. 
So I'll show you the incense thing with the whole religion thing. So that is why I picked that one. For the 13th Doctor, I picked this vanilla bean um, hand and nail cream. It's not even opened. I haven't even really opened this one. Um, but I reckon the 13th Doctor, vanilla would be something that she would smell like. She kind of makes me think of cupcakes. So it seemed appropriate to give her this one. Um, yeah, so that is a vanilla bean hand and nail cream for the 13th Doctor. The next one I got is Stargate. Um, that would be the original Stargate um, SG-1. Not the original, not the movie. I like the movie, but the Stargate SG-1, not Atlantis. Oh, I don't really like Atlantis all that much. For, <laughs> for that one, I picked this Snail Bee High Content Steam Cream. And my reasons for picking this is because I reckon that the... Um, that gold gods needed some kind of like really intense type of um, cream to keep their skin looking so good when they're so old. I know it's the symbiote that does that, but um, this has um, instead of water uses snail secretion. Um, it also has bee venom. Um, and some other vegetable cosmetic ingredients uh, to perform skin trouble care, moisture supply and skin tone improvement. It also helps with whitening and removing wink winkles, wrinkles apparently. Um, so I thought this was something that uh, maybe the, um, you know, like Apophis might use. Um, I've never actually used it, I've had it for ages, it's, n it's not even opened and um, I might have to look up how it's supposed to be used because the it's in Korean, um, but yeah, I thought it was interesting, we will see. For QI, which I I don't know if anybody outside of England and Australia would know about QI. Um, it's a comedy quiz show that used to be hosted by Stephen Fry. I haven't watched it since he left the show. It also has Alan Davis on it, and he is hilarious. Um, and they often get um, different celebrities in. So David Tennant's been on the show a couple of times, um, and other people like that that are well known, particularly in England. Um, like English television people um, and it's it's all very intellectual and they learn lots of really interesting information and stuff and so for, for that I picked the very high protection Suntivity 50 plus uh, sunscreen it's a it says body and face but I'm only going to use it on my face um, but you know smart people use sun protection. So <laughs> the next one is Forged in Fire and for that I actually picked a lip crayon. This is Fire from Lord and Barry. It's just a lip crayon. It's basically um, a reddish orange which is a colour that is like right up my alley. It's the kind of colour I wear. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll stick that in and see how much use I can get out of it. So you probably see it cropping up in makeup baskets. Uh, not this month, apparently, but um, I'm sure you will in the future. The next show I got was The Simpsons, which was actually the first show that I wrote down. I actually wrote this list during my orientation at uni last week, because, like, during lunch I was just, like, sitting there writing it down. <laughs> um... So for that, um, I grabbed the Schwarzkopf Volume Powder, um, which is kind of like, it's kind of like a dry shampoo, but not a dry shampoo. It's the kind of one that you use when you want to get texture and lift. Because sometimes if I've just washed my hair, my hair is like super slippy. Like I don't know if you you can't really tell, but my hair's just been washed like last night, and you wouldn't be able to do anything with my hair at all, it just would not stay in anything because it's it just 
it's just like that. Um, so yeah, if I wanted to get a bit of grip into it. Um, the reason I picked this is because obviously Marge has voluminous hair, um, and this is a volume powder. So um, yeah, well, I, I got this one from Lena when I want her wig giveaway, um, and I have no idea what it's like because I haven't used it. I don't really do much to my hair other than see a hairdresser. Um, uh, the next one is a goggle box, which I, I don't know if you guys have goggle box in America, but in England and Australia we certainly have goggle box. It's basically a show where um, you watch people watching television. It's, it's like a react video, but it's like a whole bunch of different television shows, so it's like stuff that you would have seen on the television, like if you watch television, like on the news, or particular movies or television shows and they get asked to watch those particular shows and then react to them and you get like different family dynamics and different couples and it, it's really pretty funny seeing people's like reactions um, it, it's clear that after a time they forget that there's a camera there and sometimes they say stuff which is a little controversial um, but it, it's pretty funny um, yeah, there are some really fun couples who are hilarious. On the English one, there is this couple, Giles and Mary, and Giles is like a 50-year-old, 2-year-old. He's just, it's like, he doesn't, just doesn't get it sometimes, and you just, and he's annoying to the point of obnoxious and you can just see Mary like almost rolling her eyes at him at times and the other day he said he broke a plate and she was like which plate and he's like oh one of the wedding plates and she just looks at him and is like you terrible man and Harvey and I were just like absolutely cacking ourselves because he was just like, oh yeah, I just broke a plate. And like, it was one of their wedding plates. And he was like completely unconcerned. And she was just like, apparently it was the last one. Yeah, he's a little hopeless basically. But it's, it's hilarious. Anyway, for it, I picked this body oil that I've had for uh, donkey-ish years. I'm sure it's still fine. It's, you know, it's, a while. Um, it's called Naughty or Nice. And it's from a company which... I'm not sure if she's still doing, like she's an indie company, but I'm not sure if she's still doing stuff. Um, she's called Butt Naked Bath Boutique. Um, she used to do like soaps and body scrubs and uh, washing powder and um, bath fizzes like, and shower. She did these shower fizz ones, which you put them in the shower and the heat from the shower and um, like you don't put it right in the water flow, you put it sort of to the side. Um, they like fizz up and you get like an aromatherapy thing in the shower. I just had a couple of those, they're like really nice. Um, but yeah, this is one of their body oils and I thought I should use it up. I'll probably use it like perfume. I can't remember what it smells like, but naughty or nice um, fits a lot of the couples. There's, it's usually one naughty one and one nice one. Uh, there's one couple on the Australian one. Um, Kevin and his wife and I can't remember what her name is and that's so much like my hubby and I like he had a um a Turkish delight egg when we were watching it last night and he couldn't get it open so he handed it to her and asked her to open it so she opened it and ate it and that is exactly what would happen with my hubby and I if he gave me something to open I'd just eat it anyway yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so the second to last one is a Babylon 5, which I spoke about the other day um, in my nail video thing. Um, so for that I picked this Evodia Australia Witch Sunday Coconut and Lime Hand and Body Wash. I'll use this as body wash in the shower. I thought this was actually really quite representative of um, Delenn, who's one of my favourite characters next to Sheridan. Um, it just seems like, I mean, I remember in the other video I said she, she seems like really soothing and calming and 
I think of green when I think of her, and I thought this this, this kind of matched. Um, this came from. I can't really smell it because it's got a silvery thing. Uh, I think I got this in a Bella box or something. So that is the one for uh, Babylon 5. And lastly, we have the 12th Doctor, who I know was not a lot of people's absolute favourite. Um, but I liked him. I, I think Peter Capaldi is a brilliant actor. Um, so for that, I picked the Meteor Shower from Black, this is a um, body scrub, um, you can't, you shouldn't use this on your face, um, but apparently it also has, um, like, micro minerals to make you glow, so, um, I will probably try to put this in another container that's, I mean, it is a Ziploc, which is nice, um, but, such a strange container for trying to wash yourself with. Um, but apparently your skin goes a light black after you've scrubbed yourself with this. And then you rinse it off. But you, you still glow. We will see. But I thought that was appropriate for somebody who comes from the stars. So that is it for my intro for this project, which I can't remember what she named it. It'll be in the title. Um, yeah, so I will leave Steph and anyone else doing this a link down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. So yeah.